All right, so it is. So we're headed to Waco, Texas, <laughs> and just to let you know, I never approved of this video. <laughs> all right, all right. So it's Friday morning, and we are headed to. Oh, somebody's trying to get me. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Who's that? So it's Friday. Anyway, it's Friday morning. We're headed to Waco, Texas. Waco, Texas. If anybody knows, it is the home of David Koresh and Dr. Pepper. And two great things that you will see. Maybe we'll go to David Koresh Compound, or maybe we'll go see Dr. Pepper. There's something trying to get me right now. So anyway, there he is right there. He's not distracted. Yeah, he's kind of distracted. He's always distracted. Oh, he's, I'm distracted. What is going on? Who's tickling me? So anyways. No, oh, there's a dad. There's a dad in the car. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a dad in the car. So yeah, we're headed to Way uh, Waco, and on the way, we're going to make a stop at the Little Check Bakery. We'll check. Texas. I don't know what this is about, but uh, we're headed out to Waco, Texas today to drop my brother off. And uh, I'll probably maybe see the Dr. Pepper factory. Maybe go visit uh, Chip and Joanna, our good friends. Steven really uh, wants to go to Chip and Dale's. I, I want to go to Chip and Joanna's. He wants to go to Chip and Dale's in Austin. Yeah, the Magnolia. Magic Mike. He's in but, Texas. Uh, you got to see Matthew McConaughey do a magic. No, that's okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. They thought it was a fire, but it's not. It's just hard eight. They're just smoking up some food. All right, so we're at this uh, little bakery called uh, the Check Stop. And uh, it's over here in West Texas. If you get any money from these videos, I hope that you can we do stuff. Okay. All right, what do you guys think of it? Good. What are you trying to add? The rest of my wife's ham no, and cheese pepperoni. Try that. The rest of my wife? No. <laughs> you took it off my hand. So this is a uh, sausage and cheese. Is it good? Is it homemade? Probably homemade yeah, sausage. Yeah, I know. It's interesting. What? The best like ones are the actual colossus. The strawberry, the strawberry one's good. What? That tastes like pizza. What are you poking me? Oh, it's looking at you something. <laughs> this one's good. What is that one? Strawberry? Strawberry. Stra shra strawberry and cream cheese. Strawberry. Okay. You know what the good thing about you not having a wife is? You don't have to share your collagen. No. <laughs> I've been there, I've done that. <laughs> you guys ready to go on to uh, Magnolia? Push the brake so I can start the car. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. We started up. We're ready to go. We're going to hit Waco. Yes, we are. We're going to drop Joe off at the Waco factory. So, I've honestly only watched a couple episodes or so of Chip and Joanna's show. Chip and Dale's. But, I have read their magazine, the Magnolia magazine, a few times. It's a pretty cool magazine. Yeah, I'm here too. Hi! Oh, you guys are wonderful. Yeah. You guys are all wonderful. Oh wait, this is supposed to be your vlog today. Yeah, it's my vlog. I'm vlogging it up. <laughs> so yeah, we're in the Magnolia shops over here. Um, it's really crowded. I think spring break has just brought a lot of crowds in. Yeah, it's a COVID cesspool in this place. Yeah, COVID cesspool. COVID, it's like a COVID I mean, not soup. That, like, not that people in Texas care about that. It doesn't exist. We're doesn't immune exist, to COVID yeah. over here. Not really. So, there's not a whole lot to do. So, I think we're going to find some other things to do around Waco today. But, uh, this is Chip and Joanna's place here. So, it's pretty cool. Maybe one day I'll get back here when it's not so crowded. Good luck with that. It says, we believe passionately in second chances when we hire people with a past. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, look at this. This is an interesting church. Uh, I like the windows back there. This is a massage chair. Is that a massage chair? It's always on the camera. I'm just walking. Yeah, so, so far, Waco has been an interesting town, but with the spring break crowds, it's kind of, it's kind of making it hard to do much.
Homestead Heritage. Just a lot of land, like 18 acres of land that was homesteaded by a Christian community, and they uh, they're a little bit more traditional, kind of like Amish, but not not so extreme. And um, they're very uh, in, much into like arts and crafts, building. They build homes. They build. A, they make cheese. They uh, and they sell their crafts and they sell and they sell the cheese. They have a restaurant. Pretty cool. I've never been here before, so read a lot about it. So this is the uh, flower mill that's driven by the water wheel. We gotta go find the girls. All went off this way. Hi. How you doing? I can smell the wood glue walking. <laughs> Any woodworking? Uh, some, yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> How much does something like that cost? That's about five, six thousand. Yeah. So that was the uh, woodworking spot, which is really cool to see because I'm, I'm definitely into woodworking. I don't do very much of it anymore, but it's uh, nice to see an actual like wood shop. Um, these are a lot of the old techniques there. Alright. Look at that tree. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So this is really neat. It's um, a self-contained community here. Um, with a little bit of, you know, open to tourism, but they have shops, different kinds, woodworking, pottery, and uh, blacksmith and herb garden, I'm reading the sign here, uh, spinning and weaving and knitting, Christ mill, that's really neat. I kind of think that, uh, I think that my sister might like coming up here too, but a uh, pretty cool place. Uh, what'd you guys think of this place? Loved it. I'm going to come spend like... Yeah, you can spend a good uh, you can spend a good four yeah, hours here. This is the kind of things I like talking yeah. to people that are craftsmen, you know, mm -hmm. making artisan stuff, and uh, especially when it's involving food or when it's involving. Yeah, uh, the woodworking shop was pretty cool. They I had know, pottery over there. there, but I don't want to miss the Dr. Pepper too. Yeah, I want to get to the Dr. Pepper too. Ooh, you got a keychain? Cool. Yeah, we're, we're gonna make this a, a date for us. Yeah, like a day date. Looks like a fun place. Yeah. <laughs> We are back in Waco now, and we're headed over to the Dr. Pepper Museum. This is where Dr. Pepper was founded, back here in Waco. It's going to be kind of uh, cool. My dad was an avid Dr. Pepper drinker, so um, it's not my favorite drink, but it's definitely cool to learn about the history. So. Here's the old corner drugstore. We mix flavors together and add things and say this is health benefits. Dr. Charles Alderton. Uh, Most of us just call me Doc. Hi, Doc. Yeah, I've been working here for some time. Is this a bottling machine? Looks like it. 
Huh? So check this out. These are all the different kind of Dr. Pepper bottles. Really neat. So you drink it at the at 10, 2, and 4. Because it was like medicine. The doctor told you to. Do you guys remember in Forrest Gump how he loves Dr. Pepper? Yeah, he said, I must have yeah. drank me 15 of them Dr. Pepper. I think that's like based on my dad. Yes? Yeah. Look at this, it's a Crystal Pepsi. You know what would be even neater if this Crystal Pepsi was full? What, that David used to keep the two liter bottle? Our stepdad, yeah. Yeah, the real father. right by his chair, they, on the ground next they, to him. Yeah, they were big bottles. Well, liter, we had the Crystal at some time, but we also had uh, the Shasta. Remember he like invented, three, three he invented a lock for his soda? Yeah, and then he also had a pump to, to preserve yeah. it. He put the pump in air back. Our stepdad was kind of... Crazy adventure. Yeah. We'd like Doc Brown, but of like stupid things like soda <laughs> locks and a bean splitter. All right, so we just got out of the museum part, and we're gonna head across the street. Where we're we gonna get our, our get yeah, we're gonna give ourselves a cook, right? Yeah. Well, we're gonna get ourselves a duck pepper. No, we're all gonna eat or duck pepper flow. Either way. Yeah. It's real soda. Let me drink. Dr. Pepper Mona Lisa. Yeah, that's a little weird. And then where do we get that? Down there? Or... Yeah. What? Yeah. What'd you get? I got the original. Never really had a big race. It's, like it's okay, but I didn't really like it. Alright, I'm gonna try mine. Let's see. It tastes like cherries. Can I try? She I don't want that one anymore. <laughs> and then after I bought it, she didn't even say thank you. She just said, I was, I I was, actually, yeah, I was actually gonna keep you guys in the car and not bring you. Alright, we're gonna check out this place. It's called George's. And look, you got George Washington, George Bush. I know, George, there's all these George's George on the wall. Look at this. Place is called George's, but they got all the George's here. See about an hour. Yeah. All right, so unfortunately, no. George is here. It's like an hour wait, so I don't think we want to let these kids wait an hour. They'll probably eat us alive if we do that. So. There's well, we decided to head over to Buzzard Billy's. Buzzard Billy's, which is like Cajun American food. So I'm excited about that because I like Cajun food. It's not Asian American. Food. I said Cajun. You, you don't listen it. to me, man. That's the restaurant, and then. We're walking along this walkway. It's kind of cool. It's like a bike path walkway. It goes over the water of the river. There's a bunch of turtles down here. Oh. Wildlife and meet strange people out here on this thing. Oh, hey. hey. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Um, do you happen to have any gray poop on? No. Oh, okay. no, I don't have gray poop on. Okay. So uh, what do you think of Waco? I think Waco is a cool city, cool town. Yeah. It's, well, it's a city and it's uh, not so large and vast like, yeah. like um, Dallas or Fort Worth. And I like that there's a lot of nature around here. It's a cool town. And you got the I'm, river and stuff. It seems kind of relaxed here. Like, yeah, a little bit like. more laid back, I think. Yeah. I, I'd, I'd live here. Side of red beans and rice. You should get a side of hush puppies. Yeah, I'll get a side of hush puppies too. Got some hush puppies. Yeah, sit down. Right now, please. Stop that it. looks pretty good. Look at that. Look at you kids and your food over there. What? And this is my food. This is a, a po' boy with oysters on it. Okay. We got some okay. of that. Okay. That's the meringue. Yeah, the queen. The meringue. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's fancy. That's so much. It's meringue. I love meringue. 
I'm more of a meringue guy than a, than a cream. So. I like them egg, egg whites. You like that? Yeah? Good. So I got some uh, coconut meringue pie for dessert. And, uh, let's try it. Mm. Yep, that's really good. Brings me back to my childhood, Victoria. eating Marie Callender's all the time. And Madison got key lime pie, but they ended up giving her two because they messed up the cut, so. Pretty good. Let's see the bigger one. So you can see yourself and then you can flip it. That's kind of neat. Awesome. You can like lock it in. No way. That's crazy. It's not that far to hey, come Hey, are you kids ready to go take a nap in the car? Yes, I am. Like that. So is the driver. I thought we were going like to that. Magnolia Market. Oh, yeah. Dad! Dad! I'm not going Maybe there's like no line yet. What? Chip a dog. Is who? Chip. No. Yes, he is. <laughs> That's his, he's a construction elaborate. guy. He works on. No, uh, he's a labradoodle. He's our friend. Oh, son. that Chip. Man, I thought you were talking about Chip and Joanna. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we are done here at the restaurant, and we're gonna be heading. Look, you see the stars up there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, cool. yeah. Look. Hey, you don't we're see stars be... in LA, do you? Not really. No. Maybe like movie stars. <laughs> we're gonna be heading back to uh, Fort Worth area, so. It's been a fun day, but we will see you on